Heidi Ho, Wettenbauer Club. <sighs> Summer. Yes. Oh, in two days is uh, game night, and I need a mini painted. <sighs> I show you my quick and easy way. This is the way. <laughs> so, usually. Heidi Ho, Wettenbauer Club. We walk in this hallway. <laughs> Okay, so let's, hmm. I printed a mini. I printed a mini, it's behind this curtain. There it is, with all the rest of the pile of shame. It was too long in the sun, it bended, so I had to, I had bigger gaps than usual, I guess. Uh, I had to fix them with plastic putty. Here is milliput because there was a misprint in the back, so I made some more bubbles. Yeah, uh, let's prime it. I have no cure machine. So I'm using solvent-based primers uh, from the spray can. They are cheaper, half the cost of uh, the GW stuff. And uh, they come with a fat cap. You know, I was a graffiti kid, so I know about the spray caps. So those are fat caps. There's a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, color coming through. So we switch them to skinny caps. The same pressure, but less paint and thinner drops. So first the coat is the medium gray. Thin coats. You can go close to the mini. So then I let it dry and mix a black wash from ink. It's a special ink that it gets uh, particles in it. In German, it's called Tusche. I don't know what the English word is. Test the consistency on the table. Still not enough water. Yeah. Still not enough water. Mixy, mixy, mixy. And then. Yeah, let's wash it. Wash it, wash it, wash it. Um, this will dull down the light gray to a little bit darker gray and the recesses will get some shadows. You know the drill, it's, it's always the same. Let's put it out in the sun to dry. That's the cool thing about summer. It's hot, the sun is really strong on the objects and it dries really fast. I got flip-flops on. After it's dry, I put on a thin coat of white for a senatal. It's also this primer. This primer allows you to paint on it with watercolors. So, speed paints. I love them. It's the version 1 speed paints. So all those, yeah, those ugliness things, the bubbles, the blisters, those... Uh, tubes or I don't know what it is supposed to be some horror stuff uh, I'll paint it with a, a yellow speed paint this is my first coat so uh, I accidentally went over the butt <laughs> you can just clean it away with water when it's not dry it takes some time to dry I don't use a wet palette. I just put it directly on a mini or on something else. I don't care. Yeah, so for the skin tone, I want it to be green. Uh, I'm using a light, a dark and a mid tone. And I'm lazy again and putting the <laughs> the color directly on the mini. Um, this is the light tone. Just spread it out. Gravity does the rest. So, on all the top parts, there is the light tone. Then on the side parts, I put the mid tone. Yeah, for those big minis, it's okay to just drop it on there. Uh, it does not work so good on small minis with a lot of detail. Yeah, I wanted the belly to be orange. It's not a real orange, it's more like a, a reddish brown because of the underpainting, uh, gray with a wash. The wash also reactivates with a, 
uh, 1.0 speed paints, but I like that. I got used to it. Uh, I did not paint the 2.0 speed paints. They said they got rid of the reactivation. I have to cry. So the shadows, the undersides, I go for a dark green. And if you uh, don't wait until the layers are dry, gravity will do a wet blend for you. So this is what we have now. I did put some red in the mouth. Yeah. It's okay. We could stop here. But I don't. <laughs> I wanted to try something new. Um, let's talk highlights. I wanted to use soft pastel as highlights. So let's see how it works if we put it directly on the mini. Yeah, come on, go find the right color and then rub it on there. So it's a, uh, <laughs> it feels a little bit like highlight, a mix of highlighting and dry brushing because you only hit the raised areas and it's it's putting on those this nice uh, rusty crusty pigment look and because i'm rubbing it in it stays there yeah i got several greens and the yellow that was a lot of fun uh, i had to uh, yeah Quick varnish after that, uh, matte varnish, otherwise it will not stick. Now I dry brush a little bit on the bones with a beige. On the bones and the rocks and the fingernails and yeah, all those. Oh, and there's some scales, just to pick out some details. Erase some areas. The eye will always move to the light spots, so I'm just pushing lights and shadows around. I don't know what all those techniques are called. I guess there are names for every one of those techniques. I don't know. I'm just push pushing light. So now I forgot to film. I put some neon yellow on there as a highlight. <laughs> it's an ink. Neon yellow artist ink. I thought that would be fancy pantsy. Now I'm pushing uh, shadows. Uh, with uh, Agrax Earth shade, or is it Strong Tone? I think I put the Strong Tone into the Agrax bucket. Yes, I did, because I like to paint. Uh, I like to use the bucket better than the dropper bottle for those kind of washes. Yeah, pushing the shadows to the back with a dark wash, dark brown wash. That's what it is, a dark brown wash. Base is just yeah some grays, and then um, rubbing on some pastels as I usually do on my terrain pieces. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, glue it in with the matte varnish, and then I thought ah oh, black rim, and then I thought oh there's a decoration on the rim, that's pretty cool. I like it. What can I do with it? So. Lower part, black. Upper part, bronze. Was it bronze or was it copper? I don't know. Um, you see it, metallic, basic metallic color. After that, I did not film that. I put, a, I put on some more strong tone because it was popping too hard into my face. Uh, I don't want the base to be the most uh, poppy part in the whole mini so i had to push it back with a wash yeah i i like to paint with the side of my brush not the tip yeah so this is what we have it took one day but i only painted in two or three sessions altogether let's say maximum two hours that's okay for session prep uh, it looks cool uh, players will be frightened this is a nasty ugly thing <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like it. So, and if you like that too, uh, write it in the comments. Please explain all the techniques I used. <laughs> um, tell me what the name of those techniques are. And um, yeah, 
Uh, I got this Patreon thing, thanks to all my Patreons. Um, if you want to join them, just uh, hit the Patreon link in the description below. There's also a link to a free Discord server. Yeah, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, see ya.